Well, this is just a sad story. This is something that shouldn't have even happened in the first place. FedEx driver told investigators that the seven years old girl was still alive after he hit her with the van. Document says, welcome back to Gist lovers. This is really a sad news, but we have to report on what is happening all around the world. So come on in. Let's talk about the case of the seven years old Atina that was murdered. Okay, so the FedEx driver accused of killing a seven years old girl in Texas allegedly told investigators that she had been fine after he hit her with his truck, but panicked and killed her inside the vehicle. According to an arrest warrant released on December 8th, Turner Lane Hanna, a 31 year old man, told investigators he had backed into Artena, strand in his uh, work van, and that she appeared to be uninjured following the incident. The affidavit said he told police that he then placed the girl in the back of the van and killed her. Honor, who was arrested on December 2nd, told investigator he had panicked and feared that she was going to tell her father about being hit by the FedEx truck the defendant was operating according to the affidavit the affidavit said that when atina was put in the van she was speaking and told hana her name before her death atina disappeared from her home in paradise texas on november 30th her body was found two days later officials said uh, at southeast of the city of boyd a city about 11 miles away. The affidavit notes that Hannah led investigators to the location of the girl's body. Okay, so let's continue. In a, uh, in a press conference covered by NBC5 Dallas Fort Worth on December 8, Atina's mother, Madeleine Gandhi, said Hannah had been delivering the young girl's Christmas present. This is really, really sad. He's been, uh, he has been delivering the young girl's Christmas present. You, uh, you can be anything. Barbie dolls when she was killed. What is it? You can be anything. Well, I'm not sure if that was uh, an error from... But anyways, let's keep going. Atina was robbed of the opportunity to grow up to be anything she wanted to be. Gandhi said through tears. And this present ordered out of innocence and love is one she will never receive. At the press conference, Gandhi said she wanted everyone to know Athena. She was an amazing little girl who loved dancing, singing, and all animals, dogs, carts, horses, lizards, chinchillas. She said she also loved school and all her friends in the first grade who are now also struggling with her senseless mother. Gandhi added that she hoped the seven years old girl's death will never be in vain. Now, this, this story from the beginning through to the end is just a senseless killing. I, I don't understand the kind of world we live in now where someone will feel like hitting someone with a car, which he said he backed onto her so that so let's say that was a mistake he didn't see the little girl was there and he was backing and he hit the girl thank god you didn't run her over and she didn't die on the spot what you would have done is call her parents uh do something or even rush her to the hospital first even before you contact her parents because you were delivering goods to their home you could have just dropped a note that says you could have just dropped a note that said uh, oh, there was an accident, Middles at Sososo Hospital or something. Or when you get there, tell her she's seven years old. She might know her mom's phone number or her dad's phone number. You call them and let them come to the hospital. But for you to say you panicked and from someone that was okay, at least from what you're stating, if she was able to tell you her name, if she was talking, then at least it was not life-threatening. You would have still been able to take her to the hospital to save her life. From you hitting her, you picked her or put her in the, in the vehicle, and what you felt you could do, the best decision you could make. I, I don't want to believe this nonsense uh, uh, talk of I panicked. If you panicked, you should have left her there and ran away, or so many other things you would have done when you 
you are in, in a panic state. So the best thing you could do in your panic state was to actually kill the girl and then drive her 11 miles away from her home and just discard her like she was just a piece of trash, uh, uh, something that didn't matter. That was someone's daughter. That was someone's sister. That was that was someone's classmate. That was, that, that was a child that could grow up and become something in the society that someone that in society that is going to save lives and and you just wasted her life for no reason you were there to deliver your goods no one is above mistake it happened you should say oh i'm glad she didn't die after hitting her do something call the parents you were scared she was going to tell her father that you hit her with the truck of course she's going to tell her father but what would her father do pick up his gun and shoot you in the head when he sees that his daughter is not dead he might sue the company whatever the case may be but at least you'll be able to sleep at night knowing fully well that this child is not dead this child is still alive and uh hopefully she will not have any you know internal injury that will lead to something else in in, in life for her and all of that but going from hitting someone with your truck to kill, picking her up, putting her in that same truck, and she even told you her name. She damn told you her name, and you were delivering her present. But this is so sad. I hope this guy gets life imprisonment or sentenced to death. I, I wish they have the death center where they can actually hang him, okay? It is so sad. Rest in peace, Atina.